Zhu Chong Hu came to the United States from Guangzhou, China, 20 years ago. Having had the skills as a photographer in China, Hu became the owner of Joseph Photo Studio on Stockton Street between Broadway and Vallejo. This studio has a history of more than 80 years. It was owned by an Italian. Because the other side of Broadway is an Italian community, there are Italian-inspired buildings on this side. Gradually, this side of the street became part of Chinatown. Who went from being an assistant to the owner of the small photo studio when the previous owner retired? His career in U.S. photography started when he began at Kodak after arriving in the United States. There he learned some differences between the American and Chinese employees. One of these differences is that American employees tend to take breaks throughout their workday, whereas the Chinese don't. Who says that he has come to prefer the American work ethic because it gives him an incentive and is less tiresome? After 20 years in the United States, who says that his home is no longer in China? I think my home is here because my family members are here, my wife, my kids, everything. Mentally, I also think my home is here. I've been here for so long and my kids grew up here. The culture they know is American culture. If you talk anything about Chinese culture to them, they don't understand. Hu's two daughters and his son have become Americanized. Though his oldest two were born in China, they have spent much of their lives in the United States. His youngest child was born here. Hu's analysis of his children sparks discussion about the two generations of Chinese immigration into Chinatown. I think the most obvious difference between the two generations is that the new generation comes from Chinese culture. They're used to generosity and easygoing personalities. When they came here and asked for our help, they think, we old generations are miserable and mean. They don't know we older generation went through a lot. We had an indescribably long, hard time. They should know our money is not easy money. Who says the new generations came to the United States with compensation from both the Chinese and American governments? Many times these immigrants use their money to live off of rather than to work. The older generations don't like the younger generations living off of the government relief. The old generation doesn't like that because that money is the tax we paid. We have jobs and houses, so we pay a lot of tax. It's like we're raising them. Though Hu considers himself to be one of the older generations in Chinatown, he understands that the younger generations need to do what they can to survive. He admits that the tension comes from the difference in culture among the generations. According to Hu, the older generation of immigrants tend to be more Americanized and therefore less generous when helping newcomers. I think it's a common problem through the whole country. I'm sure people from different countries all have this problem. Who concludes that this is most typical in the Chinese community?